Hello and welcome back. Today is Excel Wednesday and I am going to share technique through which you can extract data based on simple drop down list and dependent drop down list. To perform this technique I will use filter function available in Office 365. If you don't know how to create dependent drop down list check out my last video tutorial from the i button or click the link from the description. Let's start the video. So here we have the data in table and name this table as data table. On sheet 1 we need to write a formula that will help us to extract the subset of information based on the user selection from this drop down list. To perform this task I will use the filter function available in office 365 equals to filter. Filter function has three arguments array, include and if empty. Array means the set of values. Include means column from which we want to perform filter. If empty is an optional argument in case there is a null value what should be the display. So the array is our data table so I am writing data. From this data table I want to select the payment method column. Go to data and select the payment method column. If values inside my payment method column equals to my drop down list selected value, let's freeze it, then show me the subset of the data. Else, if there is no data available, then show me null values. Inverted comma open, inverted comma close, parenthesis close, enter, and we have the result. Now, if I change this drop down from cryptocurrency to online payment, information is update card payment, cash payment, bingo. In this example, I have filtered for country, payment method, customer gender, top seller. If I choose top seller, then I have values from top seller column. If I select any value of top seller, there is no information available to us. So how we can modify our filter function to make it dynamic? For that, we are going to use choose function. Before entering into the choose function, I have created a small data set that will help me to identify the index number for my choose function. Here we have the data set. In N1, I am writing equals to VLOOKUP. What to find? I want to find my filter column, freeze, comma. Where I want to find? I want to find in this data set, freeze. Where is my index number? In my second column, comma. I want to do exact match, zero, parenthesis close, enter. We have the index number with us. Now we will use this index number inside the choose function and the filter. Before writing the choose function, let's copy the original filter function. Now equals to choose index number, freeze, comma. What is my value one? My value one is my filter function. But this time I want to change the column name to country. That's it. So this is the first value, enter comma paste. This time I want to choose payment method. This time I want to choose customer gender. And finally this time I want to choose top seller. So we have the index number. We have four filter arguments, country, payment method, customer gender and top seller. Let's close the choose function. So we have top seller to seller C and we can see information of seller C in the subset of data. Let's change the column to payment method and now let's select the credit payment. We have credit payment subset data. Let's check one more. So this time I am selecting country column and from this country column I want to show Singapore. And here we go we have Singapore as the subset filter data. If you like this tutorial, share it with your friends. Let us know your feedback in the comments and suggestion for the future videos. See you in the next video.